everyone, Ron here. Welcome once again to the pool room. Hey, you, do you recall that video that I posted the other night? Um, and it was called Answering Your Questions. And it was about uh, one of my subscribers uh, posting a question to me, asking how he could uh, improve on his long straight in shots. And you recall that I made that uh, long distance shot that we call the Korean women drill. The ball's placed in the center of the table, object ball, cue ball way down by the corner pocket, and we go completely kitty corner on the table, taking full advantage of the maximum length on our tables. Um, that's, uh, I think I think shot like five shots or whatever. Um, and that is a great drill to uh, show you how to get better at those long shots. But I left something out, and I wanted to cover that today. Uh, and it really is not just necessarily, uh, you know, aim or anything like that, but it has everything to do with mechanics. And something that I discovered uh, in these last six months, uh, probably really kicked in about four months ago for me, was how I would position my hand, on my drive hand, on my cue stick. So I'm going to go ahead and videotape and show you what I found works the best for me and that in the habit that I had prior to that that was creating issues let's say for that shot inconsistency basically so let's take a look okay players when we're talking about hand position on our cue stick what I noticed that helped me tremendously uh, on that long shot was I had learned how to play pool with my with my drive hand pronated in other words out like this so I would hold my stick out like this when I would stroke through the ball and I never really no one really told me about it but it was just through experimentation mainly on the Korean women drill that I had posted the other night where I caught this because I was inconsistent. I would make some, miss some, make some, miss some. And I was like, well, it's gotta have something to do with my stroke. Cause I look, I'm looking at it and it's, I'm aiming right. I know I'm seeing the ball right. Why am I missing sometimes? So what I found was that when I would move my hand more inward or at least straight up and down on my, the butt of my cue, and then I made it at the shot, all of a sudden it was a noticeable difference. I mean, I went from like maybe making 60% to like 80% right out of the gate. So, and I have to continually, and not to so much today, but back then, it was kind of like uh, my jab stroke issues, that bad habit I had. If I would just not think about it, it would naturally want to go back out there because it was the muscle memory that I had when I always used to shoot as a young guy. So once I started keeping it over top, and let me show you from behind here, rather than like this, like this, with actually a little cup to my inner wrist would, would even be better. And also it was a real loose grip. That's another huge, huge thing. You cannot grip the, the stick tight. You gotta be real loose and go through. And it has to be really, what, I guess what it's, what a better way to put this, is this keeps this whole lower lever all in line. When you pronate that wrist, you now have a, a funny angle so that when you go through the shot, the, this, the cue stick will actually curve, okay? I hope that makes sense to you. Um, so in, in this particular case, James, you are the one that asked this question. So as you perform that Korean drill, that Korean woman drill, Think about that. Try it. If your hand is not like my, I just described, if it's not over your stick and it's pronated at all, make sure that your hand is over. I don't even know what your stroke looks like, but I'm assuming you might have something going on there if you're not consistently pocketing the ball. Those of you watching this too, um, especially you beginners, don't do that. I mean, there are guys, there are some, I will take this, I will say this that there are some pros that I've even seen that do have a little bit of a pronated wrist. Um, but I would highly recommend not doing that because I know what has happened in my game when I have straightened that all out and got that lever all in line. I'm gonna show you a couple shots now where I'm gonna make that shot and I'm gonna shoot it with my hand out and I'm gonna shoot it with my hand 
in the right position as well. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this shot with the wrist as it should be, or what I find should be for me right now. We'll see how this goes. It's gonna be a stop shot. And then I'm gonna try it with it flared out like I, uh, my old habit of how I used to do it. So let's give it a try. Also, I will say this, that I do stay very low to the stick now. I try to get down there where my chin is almost touching. That's pretty good. And if you'll notice, I, I always, in fact, Scott and I, we talk about this, I have a little tendency, and a lot of guys do as well, that the stick will actually go to the inside a little bit as it comes through. Um, it's after the shot, so it's not affected the shot in, at all. And, uh, and we've talked about this. Um, you know, there are many uh, pros that'll talk about it as well. You'll find that online. So when you do see your stick, maybe at the very end, do a movement, that's a lot to do with uh, well after the, the stroke. But you see there that with my hand over the top, I, I can see that, that line really well and I can have everything goes right in line, the cue ball parked perfectly in the center. That shows you that you have a great, uh, you performed a great stroke at that partic on that particular shot. So now let's go ahead and, and, I, and here's the other thing, I've got a paper reinforcement in the middle of the table so the, the, the object ball will sit right there and that cue ball is frozen right to that ball. So that's, that's uh, another indicator that you've done, uh, you've made a perfect shot. If you cut that ball at all, the cue ball will go one side or the other depending on which way you cut it. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and try it with my old habit with a pronated wrist. And even that right there, I haven't done it for a while. It's, it feels very awkward. It feels like my elbow is moved in. So it, it affects everything in the whole, the whole lever. The elbow feels tipped inward right now, so I don't know if I'm even going to make this. Oh, geez. Terrible miss. So, you can see, and <laughs> I was thinking I was very lined up, but that, that flared, that wrist being out like that, I'll try it again, see if I can make it. It's just, and this is what I was running to uh, when I was, First trying this shot, okay, I made it that time, but I cut it as well, and I didn't really hold the cue ball either. But that's how it was. It was 50-50, maybe 60-40. It was just not consistent. So now, I'm gonna go one more time, back to what really feels good now. I know, I have confidence that I can make this shot because Pretty good, it caught, just it caught the point just a little bit going in. So, and you can see the cue ball is parked perfectly, so I did have a good stop shot. Yeah, it's froze right to it. You do see it's on this side a little, so that means I cut the ball a little bit to the left, okay? But the main thing is, I'm now about 90% shooting that shot with my wrist in that position versus out. But I just wanted to cover that so that all you guys that are maybe beginners to the game, or even intermediates that may struggle a little bit, just know that you can, uh, you can really help your stroke by just moving that wrist inward so everything's nice in line, inward, so it's nice in line, okay? Give it a try, it might help your game. Leave some comments if it did, I'd like to hear. Take care guys, till next time.